A giraffe walks into a bar and says, High balls on me. Hey everybody, how's it going? Chris D'Amico with Band of Bama. I always scratch my face. Like, I don't, I don't know why I do that. Um, another issue, another addition, uh, we're going to get into some Porter territory uh, this time. Nothing really exciting to announce. Um, probably just going to talk about the beer today. So, um, Stone's Smoke Porter. Stone is out of Escondido, California. Uh, that's North County, San Diego. I just read it in a bottle. I didn't really know that. Um, they've been, they make some pretty cool beers. They make stuff like Arrogant Bastard Ale and um, Ruination. They have demons on the bottle, so that's pretty badass, right? Yeah, we're going to get into this rather quickly today and see how we go. Whoa. I think I almost shot off. It's pretty excellent. Oh my. And that carbonation that we heard come through when we pop the top? Yeah, in case you can't see that, it's huge. So while we let that sit, I'm gonna actually show you guys the demon on the bottle so you can all be frightened. There it is. Little dude, demon gargoyle, one of the two. And uh, I believe they're about to um, open a they're looking for a venture um, overseas because people are really, really pumped about um, stone beers and it's just expensive to ship them over to Europe. So they're looking for a venture in Europe, which is pretty excellent. I think that kind of is weird because, you know, most um, brewing traditions started in Europe and then came over to the States. Now it's going to kind of go backwards. Um, America, America is the place, man. It is the epicenter and ground zero for the craft beer movement. So I guess that will happen more often um, down the track. So really thick, like three finger, um, light tan head that is going to stick to the glass and kind of make me have to get my nose deep into it. Um, like a, uh, a deep, a dark ruby, like almost, almost brown, uh, or garnet. It's garnet. Yeah. Uh, very clear, very, very pretty, um, really pretty beer. I get a little fruitiness. I'm looking hard for that smoke, but I, I don't seem to get it. Maybe a little bit, a little bit, some smoked malt or some um, roasted malt coming through. There it is. Okay, yeah. Um, dark malts. Like a licorice kind of thing. Um, I don't smell much hop on it, so let's see what it tastes like. Yeah, anything that was hidden on the nose comes through well on the front of the palate. You get smoke for days. It's, it's really kind of weird because generally when you get that kind of um, like that, um, that acrid kind of taste or that, you know, like what wine, wine guys would call like tannins, um, you, um, you would say that, I mean, you, you generally think it's the hot bitterness, but this is weird because you don't know if it's the smoke or the hot bitterness, or the roasted malt. I mean, it's. It, I think they probably have a little bit of all three going into that. So you get this big pop in the mouth. It's like sticking your head over a fire and just catching smoke right in your face. Um, A little fruitiness on the palate. Um, still, I mean, that, I think you get hot bitterness to dominate on the back end, and I, I, I'm pretty sure that that's the the smoked uh, malt on the front end. So, a uh, nice medium body. What's really weird about that is you saw how big the head was, and I guess you'd expect I did anyway for it to be really effervescent, you know, for it to really like tingle your tongue. But 
I, I guess all the carbonation goes out into the head and you get a really smooth, um, not very carbonated, low, low carbonated mouthfeel on it. Um, yeah, and, and all that, all that bitterness I said is, is from probably the, the smoked malt or the roasted malt and some of the hot bitterness. Um, so, I, I mean, smoke porters are really hard to come by. Uh, not a lot of people do them, and definitely not a lot of people do them well. So they're kind of hard to find in Alabama, I guess. That's always a given for any um, kind of one-off or odd style of beer. But if you want to go for this kind of smoky, dark, roasty kind of beer flavor, I would check out Baltic porters, um, and especially Dominion's Baltic Porter that's available in um, in Alabama, and it'll give you the that that really dark roasted malt, almost to the point of smokiness, and you'll probably get some high bitterness and um, probably a bit of an alcohol kick with maybe a little bit of fruit, probably not so much the fruit, but more the like I said, smoked malt and, and dark malts. So, really quick one, um, running out of beers. Yeah! Not sure what I'm gonna do. I guess I'll figure it out. And uh, if you haven't called a senator to bug him or her, please do so. Uh, we could, you know, have home brewing legal, and I could be doing the uh, home brewed in Bama show. I don't know. It doesn't sound quite as good, but it would be fun, and we'd have a good time. So, guys, check it out. Do some action, some civic duty, and uh, we'll be back later in the week. Once the legislature wakes up and decides that they want to stop messing with gambling, start messing with good stuff. That's right, beer. That's right. So, uh, signing off from an undisclosed location somewhere in the Chattahoochee River Basin, my name is Chris D'Amico, and this is Ben and Bama. Cheers.